Folks, uh, you know, we're just past Halloween, which means we're about to enter the magical season of getting angry that there's not enough talk about Christmas. <laughs> Jim? Starbucks is stirring up controversy over its plain red cups for the holiday season. Some evangelical Christians are very upset that the coffee giant is doing away with symbols of the season, like the snowflakes, the snowmen, and the other kind of ornaments. Yes, they got rid of the Christian religious symbols like snowflakes and snowmen. <laughs> I mean, I think we all remember the story of when baby Jesus was visited by the three wise Frosties. <laughs> Oh, jingle Jesus, jingle Jesus, lying in a manger. Ho, 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 and frankincense and myrrh and pumpkin spice. Hey! Sadly, mm, I could go for a myrrh latte. It's the only time of year they make them. Sadly, the three wise snowmen did not last long in the desert. And... And... I don't know why you're clapping. They melted. I don't know why you're clapping. <laughs> and I can see why people might be all frothed up about this. Now Starbucks is completely devoid of any trace of the holiday besides the Christmas tree ornaments, advent calendars, CDs of Christmas music, Christmas-themed gift cards, Christmas cookies, and giant displays of their Christmas blend coffee. <laughs> Hi. Hey. This is nice. Ah, uh, this is actually kind of comfy. I kind of like it in here. And now some Starbucks customers are disappointed that instead of an ultra Christmassy cup, they're getting uh, they're getting one of these. Okay, I mean, look, it's just it's just red and green right there, like just red and green, which obviously could represent anything: different types of bell peppers, um, <laughs> two thirds of a stoplight, a a frog that was run over by a bus, anything. <laughs> but Star, I know it's sad, and it was sad. I agree. But Starbucks defends the new design, saying Starbucks is inviting our customers to tell their Christmas stories in their own way, with a red cup that mimics a blank canvas, inviting our customers to create their own stories on our cups. <laughs> One popular story, once upon a time, my name is Stephen. Why does it say David? <laughs> so, one angry Christian took to the internet to venti his rage <laughs> and offer a way to strike back. Do you realize that Starbucks wanted to take Christ and Christmas off of their brand new cups? That's why they're just plain red. In fact, do you realize that Starbucks isn't allowed to say Merry Christmas to customers? Well, I decided instead of simply boycotting, well, why don't we just start a movement? So when I went in and I asked for my coffee, they asked for my name, and I told them my name is Merry Christmas. So guess what? Starbucks, I tricked you into putting Merry Christmas on your cup. And I'm challenging all great Americans and Christians around this great nation, go into Starbucks and take your own coffee selfie. You know, <laughs> Paul Blart Marlboro is right. And based on how fast he's talking, I'm guessing that's not the first cup of coffee of the day. <laughs> it's a brilliant move by this fellow. What better way to stick it to Starbucks than by telling everyone to go in and buy their product? <laughs> Scorch. And remember, Starbucks, Christmas is the season for giving in to any demand anyone makes on the Internet, which is why I say don't fight this. Give the customers a cup crammed so full of Christmas, they'll be picking tinsel out of their Yule log for months. <laughs> Something a little bit uh, like this, all right? There you go, all right? This is it. Now this, look at that. That's a Christmas cup. That's a Christmas cup, Starbucks. It's got your ornaments. It's got an entire manger scene, hot glued to the lid, and you just hit this little button on the back. Obviously, obviously, that's Handel's Messiah sung by the barking Christmas dogs. <laughs> okay, this is pretty Christmassy, but it's still missing a little something, like, say, an entire Christmas tree. <laughs> All right? Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Oh, what a festive way to start my day. Mm. Mm. Best part is, once it falls off the top of the tree, you'll be covered in bright red Christmas burns.